Welcome to July's LECO challenge. Today's problem is angle between hands of a clock. Given two numbers, hour and minutes, return the smaller angle in degrees formed between the hour and the minute hand. If we're given a clock with the hour 12 and minutes 30, we want to return 165 because that's the number of degrees between them. That's the smaller one anyway. On the other side, it would be actually 195, but we want to return the smaller one. If we're given 3 and 30, we want to return 75 because that's the smaller amount of degrees, and so on and so forth. I love this problem because it's practical. It touches upon different areas. It's not just a computer science problem, right? It's also a math problem, so you might need to remember your geometry. So the first thing is how many degrees are there in a clock? Now, it's a circle. Obviously, there's 360 degrees right but there's a couple gotchas here first the hour hand will change a little bit depending on where the minute hand is now the minute hand itself doesn't care about the hour hand so we should start with that let's say how many degrees will the minute hand be at given whatever number we're given so let's start with that, and I'm going to just call it M. This is the number of degrees for the minute hand. So to get that, how many minutes are there in an hour? There's 60 minutes, right? How many degrees are there inside of a circle? There's 360. So basically every minute is going to be 6 degrees, and we can figure that out by 360 divided by 60. Now we just want to multiply it by the number of minutes, and that's going to give us the degree for the minute hand. Great. Now what about the hour hand? Well, number of degrees on the hour hand, there's going to be 12 hours in a clock. So 360 divided by 12. I'm actually not sure what that is. I think it's 30 times the hour. But hold on. It depends a little bit, uh, or it also depends on what the minute hand is going to be at, right? So depending on where the minute hand is, we need to add a couple more degrees for the hour hand. So how do we do that? Okay, well, let's think. First, let's find the fraction of how many minutes it's at. So since there is 60 minutes, we can say minutes divided by 60. That is the amount that it's at for the bet around the clock. So if it's at 30, that would be half. If it's at 45, that would be three-fourths, and so on and so forth. And really all we need to do is add that fraction amount to however many degrees there are between hour to hour. And if we recall, that was 30 degrees, right? So all we need to do then is multiply this, the minutes divided by 60, times however many degrees there are within an hour to hour, which is 30. And we could, just to be explicit, say 360 divided by 12. And that should give us the degree for hours. Now the difference. What is the difference between the two? Well, this is where it gets a little tricky because it depends whether the hour hand is ahead or the minute hand is ahead, right? But we can find the difference by simply getting the absolute value. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. So that would be the difference. So you might think, okay, we can just return a difference here. But no, we can't. Because of what I mentioned earlier, we might possibly be getting the other side. We want to get the shorter distance. So de depending on which side we've calculated, we, we're not sure right now. But to get the other amount, so say that we've calculated this degree, this would be 195, let's get the other side. And all that would be is 360 degrees subtracted by whatever we calculated here. Okay, so that would mean we just return the minimum between the diff and 360 degrees minus the diff. So whatever is the minimum here, that's what we should return. Now let's submit that. Let's just make sure this runs. Um, it's hanging. 
Okay, so it looks like it finished. We got 165 like we expected. And submit that. There, accepted. So there we go. It's um, not too hard of a problem. You might need to play around a little bit with uh, your math to figure out the number of degrees. But once you can figure out that the difference is going to be between the, the absolute value for the hour hand and the minute hand, uh, and get the minimum between that and 360 degrees minus that. So that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.